In this video, I am going to show you how to crochet this beautiful amigurumi coffee cup which makes a perfect gift for coffee lovers. So let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. For this, I am using cotton floor play yarn and a crochet hook of size 3mm. So let's begin by making a magic ring with the pink color. Insert the hook into your loop and make chain 1 to secure the magic ring. Now let's start making the row 1. Make 10 single crochet stitches into the center. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Adjust the ring by adjusting the tail end. That's the seventh one. Eight, nine, and finally the tenth one. After making ten single crochet stitches, pull the tail end tightly to close the magic ring, and then make a slip stitch into the first stitch. We are not making spirals for the base. We are going to work row wise. Again begin with chain 1 for the second row and into the same stitch make 2 single crochet stitches. That's a single crochet increase which means we are making 2 single crochet stitches into the same stitch. Continue to make single crochet increases throughout the row until you reach the starting point. So here I am making the last increase of the second row. That's the second single crochet stitch. And now make a slip stitch onto the first stitch. And this completes your second row with 20 single crochet stitches. Chain 1 and let's begin the third row. Make 1 single crochet stitch into the first stitch. And then make 1 single crochet increase into the next stitch. Again, make one single stitch into the next stitch and then make a single crochet increase into the next stitch. Now continue this pattern of one single stitch and one increase throughout the row until you reach the starting point. Here I am making the last single crochet stitch and a single crochet stitch increase for the third row. And now make a slip stitch into the first stitch. And this completes your third row with 30 single crochet stitches. And this circle forms the base of our coffee cup. And from here on we are going to work on the side of a coffee cup. So begin with chain 1. And now insert your hook into the back loop of the first stitch. And then make one single crochet stitch into that stitch. Again. Into the next stitch, make 1 single crochet stitch only into the back loops. Continue to make 1 single stitch in each and every stitch, working only in the back loops throughout the row until you reach the starting point. Now make the last single stitch into the back loop of the last stitch. And now, instead of making a slip stitch, we are going to continue to make single crochet stitches in a spiral way. Which means we are going to put a stitch marker into that first stitch to mark the beginning of the fifth row. So here on we are not making any increases. We are just going to make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch until you reach the required height. Just one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row from row 5 to row 11. So after making 11 rows of single crochet stitches, this is how the cup looks like. Now we are going to attach a handle on the outer side of the cup. And before that we are going to add a nice border for our cup. For this we are going to work row 12. So remove your stitch marker. And make a slip stitch into the next stitch. Now chain 1 and let's start making 12th row. For this insert your hook 
back into the previous single stitch drop a loop and now make a single stitch this one we call it as a reverse single stitch which means we are working towards the right side of our amigurumi so insert the hook into the back stitch drop a loop and make a single stitch so this is how it creates a nice ribbed pattern on the edge of our coffee cup so likewise continue to work reverse single crochet stitch throughout the row until you reach the starting point and this gives a nice border edging for our project so after reaching the first stitch make the last reverse single crochet and then make a slip stitch into the first stitch now chain one and trim the excess thread by leaving a small tail end and we are going to weave these tail ends into the stuffing so no need to weave in again and again so this forms the base of our coffee cup now we are going to work on the handle part so put this aside and let's start working on it you can take the same color as of the base or of a different color now leave a long tail end at the beginning of the handle itself and then begin with a slip knot now i'm going to work an icon as shown wrap the tail end around the needle as shown yarn over and draw through both the loops on the hook again wrap the yarn around the needle and draw the yarn through both the loops that's two and this one is three so we are going to continue to make up to 10 stitches that's the fourth one again fifth time six seven eight nine and ten now grab both the tail ends at a time and then chain one now trim the excess thread by leaving a tail end which is required to sew this part to the coffee base pull the needle and fasten off and this forms the handle for our coffee cup and this is how the cord looks like and don't you feel it is a perfect shape for our handle okay now let's attach this to the coffee base with the help of a tapestry needle as shown Insert one of the tail ends into the needle eye. Now take the base of the coffee cup and attach the handle across the 5th and 10th rows as shown. Just weave in across the last stitch and fasten off by making a simple knot at the back side of the cup, I mean the inside part of the cup. Make a knot and secure the join you don't have to trim the excess threads as we are doing it as an amigurumi you can leave them in as a part of stuff now weave in the second tail end as well at the bottom part of the handle the written pattern for this project is given in the description do check it out if needed also make sure to follow me on other social media platforms links are shared in the description box weave in the tail end of the last row into the nearby stitches and then trim the excess thread our coffee cup base is ready now let's decorate it now i am adding eyes and mouth to give a small face to my project so for this i am attaching black color kundans with the help of fabric glue and a mouth with the help of a small embroidery thread while adding face to the amigurumi i always prefer to add mouth to my projects because i feel that amigurumi has become so expressive with a smiley face and relieves us from the stress we are handling isn't it cute now once the mouth is attached I'm securing the ends by making a knot inside it and now put this aside and let it dry. Now let's start making the coffee part for our amigurumi. 
For this begin with a brown color thread and again with the same crochet hook. Begin with the magic ring, chain 1 and let's start making the first round. Into the magic ring, make 10 single crochet stitches. That's the second one, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and the 10th one. Now pull the tail end tightly to close the magic ring. Make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your first round with 10 single crochet stitches. Now let's start making the second round begin with chain 1 and into the first stitch make 2 single crochet stitches which means we are making a single crochet increase in our second row. Continue to make single crochet increases throughout the row until you reach the starting point. Now I am making the last increase of the second row. So 2 single crochet stitches worked into the same stitch. Now make a slip stitch onto the top of the first stitch and this completes your second row and we will have 20 single crochet stitches. Now let's start making the third row. So chain 1 and make 1 single crochet stitch into the first stitch. Then into the next stitch make a single crochet increase. Now we are going to repeat this pattern of 1 single stitch and 1 increase throughout the row. So 1 single stitch followed by 1 single crochet increase that means 2 single crochet stitches into the same stitch. Continue this pattern throughout the row until you reach the starting point. Now we are making the last increase of our third row and now make a slip stitch onto the top of the first stitch. This completes your third row with 30 single crochet stitches. Now make a slip stitch, chain 1 and then let's start making the fourth row. Now without any increases just make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch. Just one single crochet stitch without any increases which means we will be again having 30 single crochet stitches in our fourth row as well. Now chain 1 and trim the thread by leaving a long tail end and we are going to use this tail end to attach this coffee part to our amigurumi cup. Now fasten off. This makes a perfect size for our amigurumi coffee cup and if needed you can check the size by putting it over. Now we are going to add a small heart on top of our coffee to give the look of our cappuccino. For this I am using acrylic thread and a crochet hook of 1.5 mm. You can use white, half white or even a cream color to give the look of our cappuccino. So for this begin with a magic ring and then make chain 4 and this chain 4 can be considered as your first triple crochet stitch. Now yarn over twice and make a triple crochet stitch into the center. That's the second triple crochet stitch if chain 4 is considered as the first one and then the third triple crochet stitch. Now making the fourth one. Now for the next 3 stitches make double crochet stitch that's the first double crochet stitch then the second one and finally the third one. Now chain 1 and make a triple crochet stitch into the same center and make sure you have both the tail ends in contact. Again chain 1 and make 3 double crochet stitches that's the first one. Two and the third one. This forms the tip of our heart. Then yarn over twice and make triple crochet stitches. That's the first one, two and the third one. Finally make chain four 
and make a slip stitch into the center. Now chain 1 and trim the excess thread by leaving a little long tail end which is needed to attach it to our coffee cup. Pull the tail end tightly to close the magic ring at the beginning. And this forms the cute heart shape for our cappuccino. Now let's weave them together. Put the heart shape over the coffee and pull the center part through the magic ring of the coffee part. And with the help of a tapestry needle, attach both the parts together. And to secure the join, I am just making a knot with both the tail ends for the magic ring we have created. And now with the help of a tapestry needle, weave in and weave out throughout the outer stitches of the heart to the cappuccino. Meanwhile, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive the notifications for my latest videos. And make sure to follow me on other social media platforms. The links are given in the description. And if you are looking for the written pattern for this project, the link is given in the description as well. Do check it out. Once the join is secure, trim the excess threads by making a few more knots at the back side. And the coffee part is done. Isn't this looking cute? Now let's add this coffee onto the top of our Amigurumi coffee cup. For this take the tail end of the Amigurumi coffee cup and put it over the coffee and check the alignment that heart shape should be in alignment with the face. Now observe carefully. We are going to pass the needle through the back ridges of the last row of our coffee cup and into the back loop of our last row on the coffee. Just sew them together. Back loop of the brown work and the back ridge of the pink coffee cup. So likewise continue to weave in throughout the row and stop it when you have one inch left. Now stop it here to add the stuffing to our project. Take the fiber fill and stuff it into the toy. Take good amount of fiber fill and do not over stuff the toy. Just add a required amount and continue to sew them together. Once the sewing is done, we are going to secure it by making another knot. Now weave in the ends by pulling the tail end through the Amigurumi coffee cup and trim the excess thread. Adjust the stuffing and that's it. Your cute Amigurumi coffee cup is ready. I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial. Do give this pattern a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. See you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share it and subscribe to DIY Crafts.